So this experiment is calibration of attenuator. This is nothing but gun power supply. Once you turn on gun power supply, uh, here we have the setup for calibration of attenuator. This is the gun oscillator, this is the variable attenuator and this is the place where you uh, keep our loads. So currently, uh, first what we have to do is, once you turn on gun, gun, gun power supply, you have to keep this in the voltage mode and you have to vary the gun bias to keep exactly 9 volts. Once you keep it as 9 volts, here you have to see the current reading. Uh, so here it is showing 1.17 right sometimes it might sh not show 1.17 then what you have to do is you have to slowly adjust the variable uh, sorry you have to slowly adjust the gun oscillator in order to get exact 1 milliamps of current so you have to adjust this and uh, look at the meter so it is closely so you have to vary this and observe the current readings so if you see here, uh, approximately we are getting 1.16 milliamps. So once you are done with that, what you have to do is, here you can see the variable attenuator, uh, you have a, some, some scale sort of thing. So here you have the reading from 0 to, uh, uh, there, there are many readings. You have to see where the 0 of the uh, rotatable knob and the fixed scale are coinciding. Here you have to keep it as 15 in the beginning. Once you, uh, you keep it at the 15 reading, you have to draft a table like this, wherein you have the serial number of the reading, variable attenuator, uh, distance of the variable attenuator and output current. So distance of the variable attenuator is what are the distance you are adjusting here. First I have, I have kept 15. In order to get 14, uh, I will rotate this knob and uh, clockwise direction twice. So if you see here now 0 started coinciding again. So this is the reading number 14. So I will take the reading number 14 and note down the current. So uh, in this way we will repeat it for uh, several uh, readings until the variable attenuator distance is 2 millimeters. So after getting output current you have to calculate the attenuator pra practical values by using the formula 20 log input by output whereas our input will be 1.18 milliamps that we have adjusted earlier and the output will be the output current in the table. And once you are done with this variable attenuator we have something in the fixed attenuators. We have three fixed attenuators. For uh, these fixed attenuators, you have to remove the uh, probing section of this and you have to attach the fixed attenuator and you have to again keep the probing section. Once you are done with this, you have to take the reading. So if you see it is 0.54. Now I will reverse the direction of the fixed attenuator. and take the reading again it is around 0.69 so in this way you have to do for all the three types of fixed attenuators and calculate their practical attenuator values and see if it is ma matching with the attenuation mentioned on the uh, device itself that's it